<clears throat> Clay Thompson is now a Dallas Maverick. Something about this picture right here, bro. It don't feel right. <laughs> it don't feel right, bro. But I will say this. Um, and you'll see this in the, the previous video where it's just me rambling on the updates on the trades and things. Tim Hardaway Jr. just was not cutting it, bro. He, 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 he had his moments. He did some good. But if Clay Thompson can get out of the shooting slump that he was in previously and step up and kind of become that Golden State era shooter on the Mavericks, that would make a world of a difference on the Mavericks and that would push them past that hump. Really, the only reason that they got past that hump per se is because uh, inexperience of a lot of, of the young teams, let's be real. But get someone like Clay on there who's had that finals presence. Kyrie's had the finals presence. Luca, Luca has it now, but he only won one game. They got almost, that's a gentleman sweep, right? 4 1. Still, like, I, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. I know some people who are Golden State fans are angry. Uh, what are the circumstances around that, that move? Oh, look, it's the first search on Google. So here's what it says on this website, Golden State of Mind. The five-time All-Star reportedly felt disrespected as the team prioritized other avenues for improvement over re-signing him on a new deal. There, were, there was also uncertainty with Thompson's role on the team moving forward after coming off the bench for the first time in his career this past season. I need to read more on that because I'm a little confused. The Warriors were going to offer him $48 million. Dude, I will sit on the bench for $1 million. I could score a smooth five points a game in the NBA, to be honest. Um, a lot of moving pieces. He played for 13 seasons there. Okay, let's see. The, heart, the heartbreaking reason why Clay will leave the Warriors... They had no Golden State Warriors had no offer for Clay Thompson. This is on hardwoodheroics.com. Uh, let's see. So these dudes, they reported that Clay isn't expected to be there waiting as willing secondary priority in their summer plan with his side feeling that the Warriors' interest in a reunion has been disingenuous. Dang, he felt slighted? Man. Simply put, Thompson seems to feel aggrieved by the way the Warriors organization has mistreated him, which has led to his decision to jump ship. I need to read more on this because I'm confused as to how he felt mistreated. Again, I'm not invalidating his feelings, but I wasn't there when all this was going down, obviously. So I need a little more context clues and background evidence and all that stuff. But it's a, it's a, it's a weird point in NBA history, bro, because this is one of the greatest shooters of all time. Four rings simply for shooting the ball. He's not an extraordinary ball handler. He's decent, but for him to move to like, bro, that's crazy. He's been on the same team for 13 plus years and decides to up and move. Obviously, it's not just one isolated incident that took place for him to want to make that move, right? That would be the same thing as if Kobe, towards the end of his time on the Lakers, got fed up and moved somewhere. Like, people don't just play on one team for their entire career and then decide to pick up and move everything. It's just not a thing. So something obviously had to happen on Clay's fault or the organization of the Warriors' fault. I'm interested to read it. I'm a little nosy. Nonetheless, it, it could be a good move for Clay to get some peace of mind and lock in because maybe the reason he was missing all those threes, maybe we should think about this, is because of the controversy that was going on behind the scenes. Let's just think about that. These, they're NBA players. Yes, they're the best in the world, but they're also human too, right? So keep that in mind. I'm really excited to see how this goes. Out shoot, bruh. I will buy a Clay Thompson Mavs jersey. That's gonna look fire. And he already he, like the picture right here of like all of them together. It don't look right the trio because I'm used to seeing Steph and Clay together. But the the look he's got in that jersey, bro, that's kind of cold. I'm not gonna lie. It's just a little bit conflicting. Just a little bit. Because when I think of Clay Thompson, what you think of? Steph Curry. You don't think of, of Kyrie. You don't think of Luka Doncic. You, you don't think of the Mavericks. You think of the Warriors. You think of Mr. 30 himself, Curry, right next to him. So I'm a little confused. 
but we gonna let it rock because i'm interested i'm i'm here for it bro i just like basketball but y'all let me know what you think below of this clay thompson move i'm i don't know bro i don't know oh well on to the next one